Hey, what's up, y'all? Went fishing yesterday in the afternoon with my buddy Jason with Guts Fishing. He's got a YouTube channel also. I was testing out my new Shimano Cronarch. Uh, I bought it a few days ago. Went into the tackle store to get a couple of lures, and yeah, I walked out with, you know, three, four hundred dollars <laughs> worth of stuff. But, you know, my, my loose Hyper Mag, the anti reverse bearing went out in it on both of my loose Hyper Mags. So uh, I wasn't going to have a full time bait casting reel. So I went and got the, the Cron Arc, and uh, this is the 150 XG. And they definitely make them in, in different models. And this one is the 8 to 1 gear ratio. And I like a high ratio bait casting reel because of what I throw with them. I throw wake baits, top waters, some of the soft plastics as well. I'm also going to use um, this reel for popping corks and for fishing, you know, cut bait or shrimp on the bottom. My loose Hyper Mag was an 8 to 1 gear ratio, a, a fast retrieve, and I really liked it. A lot of people will tell you that it's too high, it's too fast, it doesn't have enough torque for a redfish. Well, that's not true at all. I've caught plenty of overslot reds on that same gear ratio on my lose. So I am a lose fan. I've been, uh, I've been really liking lose, and when I went in there, and asked him, did you have something, you know, comparable to the loose in the same gear ratio that, you know, that he recommended just, just for something for me to try. You know, I like trying out new stuff and he recommended this. And one thing I noticed when I was looking at it in the store is the, uh, the snap that it has. I mean, it's a real hard, you know, snap. It may not mean a lot to, to some people, but to me, uh, I like to know that it's fully engaged, you know? I, I mean, it's just it's just a really good snap, and the drag on it was really smooth. That's very important to me. I've had some reels that just didn't have a, a smooth drag, and if you're a red fisherman like me, you want a smooth drag, and a smooth drag is important to me. So this, this reel is definitely brand new. I'm going to be testing it and putting it through the test for the next, you know, as long as it lasts me. And, uh, and I'll keep y'all up to date if something about it I don't like or if something goes out pretty quick or anything like that. I am very hard on my reels. I'm a kayak fisherman and I fish a lot of marsh, a lot of muddy stuff, you know. So most of my reels last me about four to six months and um and then things go out and i get things fixed on them i don't do the repairs myself but i take them in and they just never come out they just never come out uh you know good again so and i've been to several different real uh, cleaning places so I think um, you know that I'm just really hard on them so I think that I'm really going to be able to see what what this thing's capable of and if it will withstand the test of clean fun fishing it reels in really smooth also um, I have 40 pound power pro braid that's what I use on all my bait casting reels uh, some people think that's a little thick uh, it's only the the diameter of 10 pound mono or fluoro so it's still very thin i started with like 20 pound years ago 20 pound braid and then uh you know the braid digs into the spool when you have a, a good size fish on and then your next cast you, you go to cast and and it, it catches you know so so i went to 30 pound braid and it was better but it still did it a little bit also it wraps around the eye tip way more the thinner braid that you had <laughs> the thinner braid that you have so um i went all the way up to 40 and 40 pound test has, has been good to me so definitely really strong and it just doesn't uh it's just not as of a pain in the butt uh if, if you've used braid you know how sometimes it can be a pain in the butt the the regular power pro does make a little bit of noise they do make a power pro slick eight and it is very quiet it's a quiet line um but it's pretty dang expensive so you know i buy this stuff by by the 1500 yard spools and you know i'm already paying like 200 for the basic power pro i don't want to go up to i just don't want to go up to three or four hundred dollars just because it's a little bit quieter 
the uh, the noise just doesn't it doesn't bother me so so I got to really put it to the test yesterday we caught several reds uh, I caught a redfish limit and uh, Jason caught a double limit and we also caught tons of small reds the water was really cold and the reds weren't uh, fighting as hard as, as they will when it gets warmer but uh, I had a nice 24 inch red pull some drag on this new reel and uh, and I was pretty impressed with it so thanks for watching let's go get those lines tight That's a better one. Damn it, boy. It's Jack right on that boom. <laughs> My line kept getting slacked in it. He's gonna he's gonna be little. <laughs> Man, he's got like five one, two, five spots. <laughs> Pretty little dude. <laughs> this one a little bit better <laughs> not by a whole lot but <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Damn it, boy. <laughs> nice one. Yep. That's the spot right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, might be a better one. Uh -oh. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how much better, but he's staying down compared to those little ones. <clears throat> Huh? Yeah, he's probably low in slot. Yeah, he's about 21 or 22. Pretty, pretty thick, man. Yeah, they stay thick. <laughs> I got him for you. <laughs> Got that little drum. <laughs> uh, uh, a little bit better one. <laughs> yeah. You got him. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, it doubled up. <laughs> you 
You got a better one? I don't know. Yeah. Well, yours is still out there. Mine ain't. Yours got to be better. <laughs> is it a drum? Nice drum. Damn. That would have been an eater all day. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's, yep. Those drum fight almost as good as the red sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, they much rather have that shrimp than the voodoo shrimp. I even try working it real slow on the bottom. Ah. <laughs> For the voodoo? Yeah, I thought, well, maybe I'd work it even slower, you know? Yeah. And they, they hadn't hit it yet, so. Thank you, sir. You still got a few? I got three. Okay. You want to go to the next one? Let's go to the next uh, little hole. This is some shrimp that I refroze too. It's not really the freshest. <laughs> he was messing with it for a minute. I guess I found the hole. I made a few fan casts, not knowing exactly where it was. You catch some mullet? No. No? I didn't see too much, man. I was kind of like, eh, if I don't see him. Pretty much a ghost town when I catch one. Yeah. Is that where it is over there, or is it deeper over there where it's got a little slick? Uh, right where the slick starts. Yeah, and to the left? Yep. Okay. Yeah. It's an oyster drop off and a bend, so just like any other uh <laughs> perfect scenario, it doesn't get no better than that in like in the marsh. Yeah, looking at Google Earth, you can see oysters just everywhere in here. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Small guy. Dude, so, to my surprise, dude, this keeps watered out. I, I thought he was. Dang, double it up. <laughs> double it up on you. <laughs> I don't know. I think I got a good one, dude. Do you really? Yeah. Oh, I'll take that back then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a better one. Yeah, <laughs> definitely slot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the probably the best fish I've had today. <laughs> yeah, he's pulling some. He's pulling some drag too. Yeah, man. Damn, his mouth's all jacked up on the bottom. What was that from? I don't know. That's a nice red though. Yeah, the bottom of his gill plate's all messed up. It's even cut right there. Damn. Dude, what's in his mouth? This is an oyster. I thought it was a, a tooth. Golly, I'm surprised he's still living. Reds are freaking tough. Yeah, the drag's definitely smooth on that reel. Sometimes the mono is still too smooth that it doesn't feel like it. Really? 
like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, with news, it feels like there's something there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like it to be smooth. I want it to to pull out and not catch, you know. Yeah. That Daiwa Coastal that I that I had, that was the roughest drag I've ever owned. Yeah, it would. Eh, eh, yeah. They uh, it was a good casting reel. Golly, get them, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> That's a better one. <laughs> He's pulling some drag too. <laughs> yeah, man. I guess all we had to do was move 20 yards. So yeah. <laughs> we caught all the ones that was over there and made their mouth sore. <laughs> yeah, this, these are slop for sure. Yep. Biggest one that I've caught today. Is it? Yeah. Well, I caught a limit, so, and you you caught more than a limit now. Yeah, I think this is five. Five, five slot reds? Five slot reds. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they just stacked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about that. Ha, ha, ha.